Today on Guess What I Found Out, we're going to discover some facts about how insects are better at handling water than your $400 hiking jacket. Yes, Curious George, while you're out here panic buying Gore-Tex every time the sky gets moody, mosquitoes are literally taking a direct hit from what, to them, is the weight equivalent of a Volkswagen Beetle, and just walking it off. Because of course they are. Water has issues, and it starts with cohesion. Water molecules love clinging to each other like teenagers in a movie theatre. That's why droplets form perfect little spheres because spheres have the least surface area for volume. Nature's way of saying, let's be efficient and dramatic. Then there's adhesion, when water decides to cheat on itself and cling to other things like glass. If adhesion wins, water spreads out. If cohesion wins, it forms a droplet. It's basically a chemistry soap opera. We measure this clingy behavior with something called a contact angle. Over 90 degrees, hydrophobic, over 150, Super hydrophobic, less than 90, hydrophilic. Yes, we gave water emotional range. If you're still here, congratulations. You now understand water's relationship status better than most people understand their own. Go ahead and like this video or water will find you and stick to your socks. Here's a fun visual. A mosquito getting hit by a raindrop is like you getting hit by a compact car. Yet somehow, that mosquito just shrugs and flies off like it didn't just survive an extinction level event. How? They don't resist the impact, they go with it. Imagine punching a balloon, it doesn't fight back, it just goes, cool story bro, and floats away. That's mosquito physics in a nutshell. Meanwhile, larger insects like dragonflies have wings designed like tiny rain repelling force fields. Their secret? Super hydrophobic nanostructures. Think of them as microscopic non-stick pans, but on wings, 